All right, guys. I want to talk about some fiberglass. So, when you have a fiberglass that has not dried, it'll look white. Well, this is white here because this has no resin at all, so it's white because it's on the end piece. It doesn't need resin. Okay, this has some whitish look to it because they didn't add a lot of resin to this dash. Like right here, you can see there's white right here. There's no resin on that. Okay. Uh, this was made by somebody in UK named Rick Kyrad. And uh, it was a trade deal for a bumper. It was actually a dash that I sent him and he had modified it with no speakers and stuff. So I wanted one of those back because it was a trade deal. So it's lacking the resin. It's still good. It's just, yeah, it's lacking a little resin. Um, it's actually better when you put a little less resin than put too much. Because if you put too much resin in here, it gets brittle. You think it'd be stronger, but no, it gets brittle uh, when you put too much resin in, in a, a part. So the strength in fiberglass is not from the actual resin. That's just what kind of bonds the fiberglass makes it hard but that's not where you get the strength the strength is when you roll out that that fiberglass mat with the resin and that's what's making the strength it's not the actual resin itself so the more layers of fiberglass you put with on top it's the thicker it gets and the harder the um, less flex it'll get the thicker it gets so I have a little piece here uh, a little side mount to a, a bumper that's been cut off now it's got plenty of glass in here. There's no real dry spots. But watch what happens when I when I break a piece. Okay, check that out. It's white, just like dry fiberglass, right? You would think, oh, this is not enough resin. That's why I did that. Incorrect. Fiberglass, when it cracks, when it breaks. It turns white okay now this is just a little piece now if this was a bigger like a bumper and it cracked here the the whole crack would leave a white spot where it was broken now unfortunately this is just a little piece I don't really have anything big to destroy here um, I did have a crap bumper that I made over the uh, winter but that one I'm giving away for a wall mount so I don't want to break that one but yeah you could see I'll even break this off completely it turns white it looks like, what the heck, there's no resin in there. Total, totally white, dry as can be. Okay, that's not because they didn't add enough resin. There was plenty of resin there. It's just the way fiberglass reacts when it's broken. Okay, because the resin dries out after it cures. And um, that's with all res uh, fiberglass, it's all the same. So, I just wanted to make that video and let you guys know that if you get a cracked part, don't blame the manufacturer and say, oh, if you didn't add enough resin. Because this happened to me and I, I didn't appreciate it. Uh, I do know there's misunderstandings. Not, we don't all know, know everything about fiberglass. But I just want to educate you and tell you that when you break fiberglass, it's going to turn white again. It's not going to stay, um, you know, like a resin color like these parts are. So, and, and that's with any part. I can take any fiberglass part, break it, crack it, and it's gonna um, it's gonna be white. But again, if you could tell when you get a part if there's less resin, like this one didn't have a lot of resin. Again, there's a white spot there. That's no resin. Okay, when I ship out my parts, I never have any white spots like that. Okay, if there's a white spot like that, you just add more resin, and it would uh, be fine. But that would be not enough resin because you can actually see that it's white on top and it's not all the way through so it didn't get saturated enough here and of course here there's no resin at all because that's the end piece but yeah when I when I lay up my parts I always I even go past ah, let me get this one up I go past uh, the lip of the part of the mold and I usually wet that you can see right here I'm a quarter inch past and it's wet it's hard all the way out I don't ever leave dry spot spots out because it's just the way I glass my parts I don't usually uh, like to leave it because uh, if you leave it white on the end and don't put some all the way to the end of the resin usually what I happen is it's hard to trim the part and you get dry spots on the edge 
but I don't even do that on the edge so there's no way that I shipped out anything that was dry with not enough resin so hope that video clears it up to the person that's messaging me about uh, headliner that uh, got cracked because somebody uh, I won't say names uh, accidentally stepped on it or, or fell on it and yeah that's what happens and I do get upset because I don't like being blamed for something that I didn't do you know it's not my fault that that got cracked um, again that's what happens it gets dried up turns white 